going on guys welcome back to another banger tutorial it's your boy Malik Thomas and I'm about to teach you guys some more JB fundamentals I have many more JB fundamentals on my page already you can go check my channel out and look at my tutorial section for those other JB tutorials as well as other skate tutorials I am in a much warmer spot so I get to make this tutorial for you guys without freezing my butt off in Chicago today I will be showing you how to do the Godfather and the sissy strut these are also two more JB fundamentals that make up the style. You've probably seen it at the beginning of the video what the moves consist of. They are not difficult at all, but it does take some swagger and patience. You're not gonna get it in the first couple of times. You're gonna have to practice it and you're gonna have to understand the motion of it. Also gonna be restocking my merchandise very soon, so stay tuned. I got Shut Up and Skates coming back. I got JB Vibe hoodies coming back. I got the Culture Limited. Go check out the website at www.jbskatechicago.com. Also follow my Instagram at Life of Malik and JB Skate Chicago. And also subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video upload and like the video for me. And feel free to share it with anybody that wants to learn JB as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. We out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So the first move we are going to learn today is how to do the Godfather. Godfather is a sequence. It's not something really too hard to learn. As long as you follow the sequence, you'll be able to pick it up really fast. Rhythm is something that is required. You know, it's easy to learn if you have rhythm already. If you're a dancer, you know, you should be able to pick it up really quick. But if you don't have rhythm, just do it repetitively. You should be able to learn something like this very easy over time as long as you keep repeating it and practicing. So the Godfather is a sequence and something that you would really have to take note of is it is a four count. So during the one and two count, you will do a jellyfish motion. So it'll be an open and closed motion. We can start with step one with doing that. So let's go ahead and practice and do a jellyfish motion. So you should have your skates in a v-shaped motion and open close open close watch my feet again so you are going to come into an open close motion so open close open close that is step one of doing the godfather so i'm going to go ahead and roll and show you a demonstration as well so you'll be able to kind of see how it looks in motion I am just going to do step one of the Godfather and then we can move on. Let's go. Open and close. Press a jellyfish move. You are just going to be opening and closing your legs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to step two of doing the Godfather. In step one, I showed you to do a jellyfish motion twice on the one and two beat. So when you are thinking in your head, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On the one and the two, you are gonna do an open and close jellyfish motion. Now, when you get to the three and the four, you are simply gonna do a right kick with your right shoulder rolling and a left kick with your left shoulder rolling. Now, as an example, I'll show you once you come from the open and close twice on the second beat, you're gonna simply kick out to the right and kick out to the left. And you're gonna go right back into it with another jellyfish motion. So once again, this is a sequence. So this is something that you do in order. So on a one and two, you are gonna do two jellyfishes and on a three and four, it's gonna be a right kick, left kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a demonstration of that. And then we can go ahead and move on to the next move, okay? It's pretty simple. You just need a little mind and body correlation and a little bit of rhythm. If you don't have any rhythm, it's okay. You can practice it over time and gain it. Here's the demonstration. Right kick, left kick. Right kick, left kick. Right kick, left kick. 
Right kick, left kick. Seems easy enough, right? Some people learn more by watching and some people learn more by a audio explanation. I like to do both. So once again, when you are doing a Godfather, it is a one to four beat motion. So when you are thinking in your head and you're counting and you're going to the beat of whatever song is playing, preferably a JB song, it'll be on a one, two, three, four count. You got to think on a one and two count, you'll do a jellyfish motion. And on a three and four count, you will do a right kick, left kick. You will see a lot of the OG legends in the JB community doing this. And these are the JB fundamentals to get you started. If that was an easy explanation for you, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next move we're gonna be learning is the sissy strut. All right, so this technique we're about to learn is called the sissy strut. And this technique is pretty much a transition, I would call it but it's definitely a fundamental. You can use this technique to transition into other techniques. As you've seen in the beginning of the video, I'll show you a demonstration and then we can move forward. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Seems easy, right? Let's go ahead and go into the breakdown. One thing I'll tell you about doing a sissy strut is simply it's going to be on a toes always. You're always going to be on your two front wheels on your right leg. It's never done on your left leg. Your left leg is going to guide you and your right leg is going to do the gliding. So think about it. Guide and glide. Left leg guide, right leg glides. So this is a very smooth move and it requires you to bend your knees. This is a very smooth, bouncy glide motion so always remember your left leg is guiding your right leg is gliding on your right leg you are always going to be on your two front toes not too much on your toe stoppers if you pretty much have those big stoppers it might be a little hard for you to do but if you have small toe stops or no toe stops should be easy for you to learn once again down the line you will want to get rid of those big toe stops and you can go visit my other video on how to t-stop if you want to learn how to slow down and stop let's go ahead and get into the breakdown all right so step one of doing a sissy strut i'm going to show you from my left side so that you can watch my right leg you are simply going to go ahead and practice rolling on your two front toes your left leg is going to be grounded and your right leg is going to be on your two front toes so you'll be just kind of doing a front to back motion as shown i'll show you a smaller video in the corner so that you'll be able to see how my feet are positioned right now so just repeat the motion that i am doing right now and remember every move that i am showing you in this video will be done better in motion so i'm showing you it stationary right now but try to practice everything that i am doing in motion for better results and that will be step one of doing the sissy strut All right now, so step two of doing the sissy strut, you'll be able to actually learn the motion from this. That is the setup for step one. Now step two, just imagine that we are moving right now and um, just kind of follow along and get a little bit of an understanding and practice it while in motion. So now, remember I told you you have to get used to being on your toes. So this is the thing that we're gonna do while we are in motion. You're always gonna start your right leg to be behind your left leg. Remember, left leg is your guide leg, right leg is your glide leg. So guide and glide. So now what we are gonna do is, we're simply gonna come up on our toes and at, remember, always bend your knees. Like everything you do, you should bend your knees, but this move definitely requires you to bend your knees. So we're gonna definitely come down and we're gonna bring our right leg up and our left leg is gonna follow. However, we are gonna stay in the same motion in our same box when we are skating. We're gonna stay where we are. We're not gonna go invade anybody else's space. You should not drift off. You should not go into somebody's other lane while doing this move. It should be a simple dip down and up. So you are gonna go from bending your leg to extending your legs. About it as coming down and then come up and you should shift directions just a little bit but staying in your space 
I'm going to show you another version. So look, this is a small rolling version I'm going to do for you. So we're going to dip down, come up. The only thing that you're going to notice is that your left leg is going to be guiding out and then it's going to guide right behind your right leg once your right leg is in front of your left leg. Here's another demonstration. So we're going to go down and come up. What you're going to do, you're going to feel your left leg kind of shift position. So you're going to go from the left and as your right leg come up, you're going to go to the right. So watch my feet once more. I'll come a little closer. You're going to go down, come up. But you are always going to stay on your two front wheels. You are never going to go off your two front wheels when doing this move or your right leg. It goes another demonstration one more time. Down, up. Down, up. Down and up. You are simply gonna come down and come up. Doesn't seem too hard, right? That is gonna sum up how to do the sissy strut. If you need more help, make sure you rewind the video and go outside or go into your local rink and practice. Thank you guys for tuning into this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped you guys learn some more JB fundamentals. You can also learn these moves from other JB instructors. I just happen to want to show the world on my channel and show tutorials to the world so you can have somewhere to start. But as I will always say, you can watch my videos as much as you can to learn JB, but please come to the source, come to the city, and get a feel of the culture, get a feel of the vibe, get a feel of the energy. And everything that you see that I've taught on this channel, you will see in person at one of our local rinks. Right? If it's at Glenwood or Linwood or even a rink on 87 or Fleetwood, you will see these fundamentals. You will definitely be able to see all of the fundamentals at an old school set. So just come on down to Chicago. Without further ado, thank you guys for tuning in to the video. Make sure you smack that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you never miss a video upload. And without further ado, we are out.